Hello, so another genetic condition. So here we have a six-year-old male who male patient who is presenting with obesity, short stature, small hands, myopia, strabismus. So myopia, let's just stop that. Myopia is a way for saying near sightedness. Near sightedness. And strabismus is when they have a little bit of a squint or um, kind of eyes that are not able to, you know, focus. It's kind of, that's what it's basically a squint. Physical exam shows hypogonadism. Okay, hypogonadism and hypopigmentation of the, sorry, hypopigmentation. Okay, of the hair, skin, and eyes. Now, obviously, here's our child, and obviously he has dark hair and dark eyes. So I put this into italics because hyperpigmentation of the hair, skin, and eyes, it's probably kind of less common, but it does occur. So I left it here because this can still occur. So let's look at the patient actually, let's look at the picture. So this patient is a little bit overweight. Okay, I shouldn't say a little bit, quite overweight. And has something that you'll notice, it's kind of a bit difficult to notice, but these patients can present with almond shaped eyes. And here the patient also has small hands. So that was the third point here, over here. So the mother recalls the patient was kind of floppy during the first year. Does anybody know what floppy babies are called? Hypotonic. Hypo, so hypo means anything which is under and hyper is something that's over. Hypotonia. During the first year. Now notice that this hypotonia will occur only during the first year or as a baby. The baby also had difficulty sucking or swallowing. She also reports an increase in appetite after the first year and after numerous attempts at diet, the child is still gaining weight quickly. So, there's the key kind of cardinal features here are that you can't miss to diagnose is that firstly uh, this they are hypotonic as babies then as they get older they um, you know they start to eat so much they overeat because they have this insatiable appetite so it would be hyperphagia hyperphagia and that's when the babies are sorry the kids are overeating because they have this insatiable really really big appetite and then the last age is for hypogonadism hypogonadism so you have these three h's those are your cardinal kind of signs for prader willi syndrome. Oh, I, I realize I haven't said it till now. This is prader willi syndrome. prader willi syndrome is characterized by a baby that's floppy, a floppy baby, and that doesn't suck or swallow easily. So kind of, kind of the baby can actually be underweight or can even have failure to thrive. And however, that's what they are as a baby. But when they become a child, when they grow up, they have this insatiable appetite, hyperphagia, and they're always eating. So those are your classical signs and symptoms. However, what is actually happening here? Well, what's actually happening here is that this is prader willi syndrome. This, is, this occurs due to a deletion in the prader willi slash Angelman critical region on chromosome 15. So there's a deletion in prader willi slash angiogram critical region, the critical region on chromosome 15. Now, where, whereas 
in Angelman syndrome, it was a maternal deletion. Remember, remember Angel Man, M for mother, M for maternal. In Prada, really, it's a paternal deletion. So it's a paternal deletion. Okay, cool. So in Prada, really, it's a paternal deletion. The paternal genes were the ones that were expressed, and the maternal uh, were the ones that were imprinted. So in this case, the maternal copy is imprinted. Again, refer to my other video on imprint, imp, imp, genomic imprinting to understand what this actually means. Now let's go back. This happens on the 11, sorry, 15, chromosome 15, Q, long arm, 15, Q, 11 region. And um, whereas in Angelman's, it was UBE3A. Here, the gene that's directly affected is SNRP, SNRP, and allele, I believe. Let's check that out. So yes, this is again a micro deletion or a deletion combined with uh, genomic imprinting. Genomic imprinting is DNA methylation, DNA modification, so much so that the gene cannot even be transcribed. Okay, so that's kind of what's happening here. You're having a deletion of that. Now, this arises due to a paternal. In Prada Lee syndrome, it's a paternal deletion, which is causing all of these issues. Oh, one more thing. When I talked about hypopigmentation, and I said that that can occur, this can occur if there is a deletion of the OCA2 gene, the OCA2 gene. And this kind of codes a little bit for skin pigmentation. So if the deletion is large enough that it can cu that it cuts out even the OCA2 gene, in that case, the child would present with hyperpigmentation of the hair, skin, and eyes. But remember, your cardinal signs is a hypotonic baby, a floppy baby, the baby having failure to thrive or sucking or swallowing difficulties. But when it turns into a kid, when it grows up into a kid, they are hyperphagic and they are overeating constantly and constantly. And one more thing. Uh, which isn't actually included in the vignette, but it's the fact that these babies, when they are put on these special diets, diet, they can get really angry and show rage and anger. And they also have hypogonadism. Okay, you need to, sh you need to keep your eye open for that. Thank you.